dead men tell no tales, or so they say, but General Hassan Tehrani Mogadam, following his death, revealed so many secrets about Iran's rocket program that if he weren't dead, Tehran would have ordered his execution. Early this year, Fabian Hinz, a weapons researcher, was browsing through Iranian media reports and pictures of General Mogadam, coordinator of the country's rocket program prior to his death in 2011. The general died in an explosion at a test facility. In one image taken shortly before the accident, Hinz noticed a blue box marked for delivery to Shah Rood in northern Iran. Searching deeper through satellite images provided by Planet, Hinz and his team at Middlebury Institute of International Studies found more blue boxes and blue roofs in desert locations. It appears that General Mogadam was a football fanatic and had the facilities painted in his favourite team Estegial FC's colours. Research had already hinted at the Shah Rood buildings being part of Iran's rocket programme, Mogadam and his passion for soccer helped confirm the suspicion. Further research revealed that the site was still a productive rocket laboratory and that Iran was building rockets more powerful than had been estimated previously. This despite leader Ayatollah Khamenei saying Iran would not make missiles with a range of more than 2,000 kilometers. David Schmerler, one of the Middlebury researchers, told Courts Media we started going back to see if, when Mogadam died, did the program stop? Had they given up on this entirely? The answer, according to Schmerler, they started testing. Clearly, the program's not dead. This conclusion became clear because planet satellites constantly produce new images during their daily surveys. Analysts comparing historic data collected by the company could see the facilities developing over time. New buildings kept appearing between 2015 and 2018. One other telltale sign was the development of berms or earthworks around the buildings that contain accidental explosions. There were no berms at the facility when General Mogadam died. The researchers found further proof of continuing rocket development through marks in the desert left by the exhaust during testing. They date these to 2016 and 2017. The Middlebury researchers suggest the rockets could provide enough thrust for an intercontinental missile, though estimating them as slightly less powerful than the US Minuteman III ICBM, which can carry a nuclear payload. The Iranian rockets are solid-fueled. A simpler and more reliable system than liquid fuel, solid-fueled missiles are also faster to deploy. They can be hidden and launched almost immediately. Only a few days ago, Planet Satellites presented a new image, showing Iranian workers building roads on the site. Schmerler told Courts Media, I can see vehicles on the road, which parts have been paved, which parts haven't. They may be paving while this image was taken. You can't get this imagery anywhere. A ban on Iran's development of rockets, including those capable of carrying a nuclear warhead, was not part of the Iran nuclear deal. This could be an element in Donald Trump's decision to pull out of the deal. However, this releases Iran from the agreement too. Now, with the political process in chaos, the front and centre problem is, if Iran develops a nuclear weapon, they are capable of delivering it.